What's up guys, in this video I'll show you how to take this green screen footage and turn into a count video in Unreal Engine. We'll also do a virtual scouting, finding an environment and placing this cat. So let's get started. Alright, to get started we have a cat video in a green screen that you can see on the screen here. And this is the video that we are going to comp into the Unreal Engine. So let's take a look at the process of how we do. So the very first thing I do is I actually go into the DaVinci result. I import this footage in here. Then the next thing you can do to basically key it out is I'll go to the color tab. Actually, I may need to add this. So I go to edit. I drag this footage and then I go to color tab. And in here, what we can do is um, we can say add alpha out and I will basically connect this blue to that blue dot there. And what we can do is basically I will select this, but we don't want that way. Um, so we want to revert it. So you will see this option right here. I'll do that. Um, but still you can see some grains of black and green in here so to to correct that what we'll do is we'll decrease the in out ratio so we can go all the way to 100 and I think it will make it completely black um, I could try some blur radius and it will help with the the cat stuff uh, in terms of green line the another thing I can do is actually use this feather tool and basically select this and this will help to get that whole most of the uh, green lines from the cat okay so you can see the video is keyed and is alpha so the next thing what we'll do is basically we'll go to the deliver tab we have this uh, video and to use that what we'll do is go to the custom export and in here what I can do is I'll do the EXR and also make sure the export alpha is checked off and then I'll just do add to render queue and then render all since I've already done this part I just wanted to show you how to get there okay um, and you will see uh, this is the sequence that it generated for me and I can use this in my Unreal Engine machine. So this is the environment that I downloaded from the the Epic Marketplace actually free free for this month I think. Uh, this is a great place to get a free assets by the way yeah this was the interior I really like this interior and I this is where I want to place that cat so I got this for free from Unreal Marketplace. Yeah, so I already brought in the place and this was the scene that I wanted. This is how it looks actually. So basically you can go virtual scouting for, you know, place where you want to place that cat. So this is where I thought I would place the cat video. The next step what you can do is uh, you can go in here, right click and then go to media an image media source yeah okay and what I can do is double click in here um, yeah it basically asks for sequence path which sequence so all the way I can just select these one of the sequence and it should open all of that and then the frame rate I will put it to 24 frames per second and I will say this now I can close this and I think we have the media file. So I can just drag my media in here. Um, and then I will use the this rotate tool. Okay. And yeah, so basically I am, right now I'm framing my camera, but I think I can do that from the and if I were to just uh, go and start simulating, I can already see that the cat is in, in here. So you can see, uh, although it has definitely has a lot of exposure, 
the contrast and all of that setting is not quite right. Now I'll stop this, of course it will give you black. Um, since we want to create a new sequence, so what I can do is I can go ahead and um, add a level sequence and then cat First of all, I want to uh, create a cine camera. So I can set a uh, create new camera and then I can pilot it. So actually this is my camera looking at it. You can see it. So using my cine camera, I'm tracking that one. And then the next thing I want to do is um, I also want to track this uh, cat media. So I'll just drag it and bring it in here. Well, I don't think that worked. So, so basically I'll go ahead and press the track cat media. And if it say, would you like to disable autoplay? You can say yes. Okay. And there it is. You have the video of a cat um, uh, in the screen. Of course, I'm going to select the camera angle and the cat media, the, the aspect ratio I don't think is quite right. So I can do 0.7, maybe 0.7 and then maybe 0.5. I think 0 0.5 is quite well. So the cat video is in here. Now this is okay, but I mean, of course, we want to get this exposure uh, and all of that stuff right as well. So click on the cat media. And if you look on the material, you can see there is a materials. If you were to double click on it, actually, yes. So double click on the material and you'll see that there is a material. But by default, the, uh, it goes to M underscore media plate. What you can go for is go for M underscore media plate CC because that has the option for changing the contrast, the hue and all of that good jazz in here. So now once I selected that, uh, let me take it in here and we can take a look at the cat in real time. So I can select the contrast, the exposure and hue. Um, Contrast actually had you had to decrease by a whole lot. Oh, okay, here. So, contrast, I think I went minus 0 point and then three zeros and one. And then for the exposure, I went to like minus 6.5. Yep. And I think the cat actually looked fit from my screen. So I just saved this and yeah now if i were to go in the sequencer and play this video you can see that the cat is comped and yeah that's all you need to do it's very easy with the exr sequence with the alpha exported from da vinci that it's quite well of course you can take this footage take it to nuke or after effects and then you know Definitely you can see that cat is uh, of course a cutout, but it, it is quite good that you can do that in Unreal Engine, the green screen composition. So yeah, that's all for this video and I'll see you in the next one.